Hey guys, what's up? In this video of the Tech Keys, let's take a look at how the iPad looks on iOS 6 Beta version 2. Let's get started. And this is one of the nicest features we are gonna get in iOS 6. That's the photo stream. Let me explain you a little bit. It lets you create a photo stream and share it with your friends and family and also subscribe to theirs. And let's go ahead and take a look at how it is. So get into the photos. Here let me say edit and uh, select these both photos and uh, click and share and as we can see we have a new thing called photo stream I'm gonna select that and then here you're gonna type in the people whom you want to share it with or you have the option of making it public or keep it private or stuff like that I don't exactly know what this is all about but then we just have the feature that's amazing and just say next after that now I'm not gonna demonstrate it completely uh, let's keep it like that and one more thing is the Twitter uh, icon change you can see it here the iPod which you can see is the old Twitter icon here on the iPad you can see the new latest Twitter icon and that's all over there Let's take a look at the calendar app a little bit. Let's try and create a new event. Uh, oops, um, previous date. Let me come back to the latest one. There's no events, and let me come back to the latest date. Uh, and then here I say add and create a new event, say iOS, and say OK. So here in the notification center, it keeps reminding you that today you have some events to attend. So that's pretty cool. So, um, let's keep moving. The next one being the smart banners. That's it's awesome, you know. Let's get into the website and it shows you that there is an app available, and just click on view. It takes you directly to the app store. You must have definitely heard of this thing called guided access and yes they have put it in this version of iOS and let's go take a look at it. So in the, uh, in the settings general and get into the accessibility and there you can see the guided access access a part of it keep everything switched on set a passcode and let me demonstrate it on the clock app so triple click on the home button and then you will get the gather access menu here we can choose what to and what not to do uh, let me draw a circle on the Tokyo clock which nobody should access and on the edit part and also on the timer I guess That's timer or yeah stop clock so and then uh, say ok start and nobody can click on those particular things or those particular areas and uh, that's amazing and nobody can even get to the home menu they should stay right there and again triple click enter your passcode and you will get the menu again and you can end the session and now I'm gonna show you the biggest bug the same thing, the same guided axis does not work in landscape mode. Let me start. So that's the bug in the beta version 2. I don't know why, I just found it out. So it does not work in the landscape mode. So that's how it is. Anyways, thanks for watching subscribe rate and please feel free to comment below about what you think about this version of iOS and also what you're expecting from the next one. Catch you later.